Hey guys, so this is another haul video and these are things that I picked up between the end of September and October. So, while I was at my used bookstore, I found two manga series and I was quite surprised because usually when I go to my used bookstore, they really don't have volumes that I need. But that day, I was lucky and I found two series that I wanted to get and also complete. So, I got Kurohime. Volumes 12, 13, and 14, and these were the volumes that I needed to my collection because I had volumes 1 to 11. So here is number 12. Number 13. And number 14. Boobs. But anyways, um, I heard that this series has been cancelled. And supposedly 14 is the last one, but it might be 15. I'm not 100% sure. But that really fucking sucks because collecting, you know, manga series from 1 to whatever equals a lot of money. So finding out that it's going to be cancelled was really disappointing because I did like the story. It was interesting. Um... I'm just hoping in the future they'll pick it up again, but for now I think 14 and or 15 might be the last volume. And yeah, that's how it looks like. And each volume was $3.99. Now the next series that I found there, which was really surprising because I didn't expect it, would be Love Attack. And they had numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six but I already had one so I just got from two to six and I was really happy I found it there and I truly did fall in love with the first volume and I'm gonna just show you the covers so here is number two number three number four Number five and number six. And the thing that sucks about this series, the same as Kurohime, it was cancelled. So I believe number six is the last volume and supposedly it leaves you in a cliffhanger. I didn't read it yet, I just read volume one. But yeah, this would be the last one. Unless they re-pick re it up and continue the story. And this is the thinnest volume of the batch. And each one of these were $4. Now, the next thing that I bought, and I was really surprised to even find it there, um, was this. Batman Lunchbox! Look how epic. Epic! And you won't believe where I found it. I found it at Old Navy. I know, right? What the fuck? So, Old Navy at Eaton Center had, like, I think four of these left. And I was like, I have to pick this shit up. So I was like, okay, yeah, why not? I am totally gonna rock it as a purse. I don't give a fuck. It looks amazing, and I loved it. And, yeah, they also had some Sesame Street stuff and some Hello Kitty stuff. But Batman, number one, and of course, it was the one that was being sold out the fastest. And this is the tag. And it was $12.50. And when you open it up, it's like that. And you could actually fit in a manga. Totally gonna rock this as a purse. I don't care. That, for me, is fucking amazing. And I loves it. And I'm happy I got it. I just hope I don't fuck it up right away because I know that this sort of material does get scratched up a little easy. But I got that from Old Navy. Okay, so the last two things that I bought and is obviously the most epic things that I bought and I can't believe I found them are these. I'm going to go in silence just for a few minutes so you can see them. And oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Look at them. I am in shock. I can't believe I even found them. Yeah. I'm going to totally go in detail on them. Um, just a little information that 
I research a little bit myself, but if you guys know anything more about them, please comment below. But let's start off with Joker. Okay, so this is how Joker looks like. It is totally based off the 1992 animated series of Batman. And I believe these were released in 1998. And this is his body. And his body is soft and his head is made out of hard uh, plastic. And I'm going to turn him around so you can see. And you can see the detail in his hair. He has that little green stuff in his hair. And this is how the back looks like. Amazing. When I was there, they did have a Robin to go with the three. But I couldn't afford all three. And I just had to pick up the two favorites, obviously. Batman and Joker. So I had to leave Robin behind. I'm sorry, Robin. But Joker is just holy shit. I can't believe I have this. And I did try to look it up on eBay. All I could find, honestly, was I think the Riddler and Penguin and I think Robin. So I believe these are hard to get. And this still has the tag on it. And it's not even crinkled or anything. And it says here, from Warner Brothers. And it was released in 1998. So I, wow. This is how Joker looks like. And that's his face, his smexy face, and his body. Now moving on to Batman, the sexy of the sexy. So, his body is the same. It's plushy. His head is made out of hard rubber. Amazing. There was no damage, nothing. He does come with the same uh, Batman uh, label as Joker. And it's not even bent like crazy. And yes amazing 1992 animated series released in 1998 and this is how the back looks like and as you can see inside his cape it's blue now price wise i fucking scored that store was having a sale so it was 19.95 each but it was 20 percent off so it was about like 15 16 bucks each so I'm really happy that I found these still in shock and I'm just super happy I could add this to my collection, rare or not. Uh, if you know any more about these, please comment below. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my haul video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.